Jordan Memorial High School and today we're going to do shrinking with a claw hammer. Okay, so basically when it comes to shrinking, what I'm talking about is putting what, what's called a tuck into the shape. You see? So, for, so you can obviously see that that is no longer flat, right? And uh, I got these earphones on, so. But anyway, so it's like, imagine if you were able to put a tuck in there, just like clothes, you can go like that. But what if I could keep it there and not fold it over, right? What I'm trying to do is, I actually don't want to fold it over. What I want to do is, I want to push it together and make this thicker with less distance, okay? And that's called shrinking, all right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a claw hammer, which is, it's just like a primitive demonstration, but basically we did a few of them already. And what happens is you go in here, right? And you, and you, you pull it over, right? Then flip it. And now you push that over, right? So now we've got, it's not pretty, but we've got this. Now look over here for a second. Now I'm an expert in this. Now I'm, I'm just kidding. This is this is difficult, and I'm always learning. To I'll be honest with you, but I do know that I do have a tuck going, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to trap it, right? So I'm going to use the hammer just to bring down the back side here, and I'm trying not to sh to stretch. I'm just kind of bring it down. And now I'm going to cave it in. And then I'm going to hammer it out and it'll, hopefully it will stay. That one works actually pretty well. So now if you, if you look at it, it's, it's been shrunk. It's, there's a lot of shape in it now. Um, the distance is shorter. Now I know I've got a couple of crinkles on the end here, but I'll, I'll stretch those out just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm just kind of averaging it out a little bit. I'm sorry about the noise, but you could just turn down your volume. And so now I've got this this area that will not release and it's pulled in like that okay now if you're looking at this you might be thinking well it's just sort of dented but it, it actually it actually is thicker um, and less distance so that's called shrinking now that's usually don't you don't use a claw hammer what you would use is um, maybe uh, like two tapered pieces that are welded together with a T on it, so you could kind of turn those tucks. Um, it, it's like a hand tuck. I forget what they call it. I, we, we usually people just make them. I don't even know if they sell them. Um, now that's the manual way to do it, right? You know, by hand. Okay, but there's also a, a, an automatic, a semi-automatic method. And I'm very privileged. I got to learn a long time ago. Maybe, well, it's not a long time ago, but about five years ago. I took lessons with uh, Faye Butler, and I was very, very lucky to take those lessons because I got an overview. I still have not mastered any of this stuff, and it'll be a lifetime. But let me just show you. Here's the man himself. That's Mr. Faye Butler. He is well known in the metal shaping industry. And what he made for us was what, what looks like what I just did, which is, which is the thumbnail. And that is basically a tuck, right? And then you have the receiving one. And when these go together, they hammer like this. Okay? And what you would do is the, the paper, well, the, the sheet, would be fed into the machine. And it would create a tuck, right? Okay? Well, actually, sorry, it would be this way. Okay? So you feed it in. You would feed it in, and on the other side, you would have your, you'd have your tuck, right? This is not the best assembly right here. But anyway, so let me just, 
So you'd feed it in, it would create the tuck, and when you pull out, it would push it all back together, which doesn't fold it over. Like I said, it, what it does is it makes it thicker and shorter distance, which is a shrunken piece, which is the opposite of stretching. Stretching is when you, you hit the piece of steel, and what happens is it gets squashed and the distance goes wide. Okay, so just an overview of uh, using a claw hammer for shrinking. Uh, anyway, that's basically it. I'm Mr. G. Hope that's helpful to my students and anyone else watching. Uh, you got any questions? We're going to do the pole max probably tomorrow. And that's exciting because it, it's like using a blowtorch and this is like rubbing two sticks together to get a fire, you know. So it's totally different. Uh, it's going to happen a lot faster and you can adjust the pressure and the speed and to have a pull max in a high school is super rare. We got it, we had grant money and we bought it when it wasn't that popular um, and then it, the prices skyrocketed afterwards. I don't think I would do that twice, I don't think we would have the money to do it twice, this was just a rare situation. Um, but if you're a, someone who's into metal shaping and you wanted to try it, you can make an appointment, come in. I don't mind letting you use the machine under supervision to give it a try. Uh, it's a rare machine. Not a lot of people have it. All right. Anyway, so um, all right, I'm Mr. G, Memorial High School. See you later.